Good morning, everyone. This is Bob Fogarty at the National Weather Service in New Braunfels. I'd like to go ahead and get started with today's uh, total eclipse weather briefing uh, for April 8th. Um, important updates at this time. Our confidence is pretty high for the weekend part of the forecast. Um, we still have sort of a medium confidence for the cloud cover and the precipitation chances during the eclipse and then Monday. Uh, still time in the forecast that we could see some changes. And we do see some potential egress issues on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, with possibility of some strong to severe thunderstorms. Uh, just a reminder that we are recording this briefing and we'll make a copy of the recording and of the slides uh, available after we finish. So let's just jump right into it. Um, here's our schedule for the rest of the weekend. Today we're starting to do these twice a day. So uh, we'll do another one of these briefings this afternoon at 2.30. Uh, the same schedule will repeat Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll do our final briefing on Monday morning. So our main weather points, uh, pretty good uh, confidence in the forecast for the weekend. We have a weak cold front that's expected to come through Saturday night into early Sunday. It looks like at this point that that front is gonna be mainly dry as it comes through our area, but there may be some stray showers uh, that'll be mainly overnight period, uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Our uh, confidence is getting a little higher for the forecast on Monday, but there's still some uncertainties of a couple of things. Um, it's a question of how much cloud cover at different levels that we're going to see. So we think that there's going to be some uh, lower clouds coming in with Gulf moisture from the southeast, and that uh, in the upper parts of the atmosphere, we're going to see strong southwesterly, and that's going to bring in high clouds. So um, the question is going to be how much of each sort of cloud cover we're going to get, and, and particularly for the high clouds, how thick they'll be. Um, but three days out and for a very short period of time, we're talking about a couple hour forecast on Monday, and we're three days away from it. Uh, difficult to make a good prediction. Um, so we could see some fluctuations over the next couple of days. Tuesday and Wednesday, we may see some problems. We're expecting a little stronger system to come through, and we may see some thunderstorms. Uh, initially, I th we think that they may be overnight, so that may not be such a big deal, but Tuesday during the day and then uh, lingering into Wednesday, we could see some storms. Uh, again, it is springtime and the forecast can change quickly, um, so we'll continue to fine tune it as we go along, getting closer to the day. Here's a picture of what the, what the uh, forecast looks like for Saturday. There's a dry line cold front out West Texas. Um, that's supposed that should be moving through into uh, central Texas during the day Saturday. Um, clouds and humidity will return ahead of this. We we'll get the southeasterly winds off the Gulf, so that brings in some higher moisture air. Temperatures on Saturday expected to be uh, low 90s along the Rio Grande, uh, upper 70s and mid 80s elsewhere. Uh, the frontal approach week uh, Saturday night and possibly just some stray showers. It doesn't look like there's gonna be enough moisture return before the front gets here. So should be mainly dry, but I, I wouldn't rule it out completely. And then for Sunday, the front should move through most of our area, uh, make it at least through I-35 and maybe stall somewhere in the coastal plains. Drier air behind that front temporarily uh, for Sunday daytime. The low clouds will scatter out and it'll be a little lower humidity. But you'd see the, the moisture we have there, we show moisture ahead of the front in East Texas, um, and that's going to be the big question for Monday. So Sunday, high temperatures, low 80s to near 90 along the Rio Grande again. And then here we go for Monday. So the front will kind of wave back up north, and uh, that will allow the moisture to move back in. So the question becomes how quickly that happens uh, Sunday night, Monday. Daytime Monday, we think that there's a chance of some showers and thunderstorms um, as high as 50% over eastern areas. And, and mainly the, the higher percentages are, well, I'll show this in a minute more, more detail, uh, but the higher percentages look like they'll be outside the area of totality, but still, um, and, and it'll be mainly during the afternoon. So I think there's a good chance it'll be after the eclipse that we get the showers and thunderstorms. So the question's there, how quickly will the low clouds get back in uh, before anything gets going in the afternoon uh, and before the eclipse for that matter? Um, so, and we'll continue to watch these trends. 
Here's the upper pattern I talked about, the big upper low out in the southwest. So we get uh, southwesterly flow over Texas. Uh, that'll bring high level moisture across. So we're thinking there'll be high clouds. And the question is then, will, the high, will it be thin high clouds where you can probably see through it or will the high clouds be thicker where you don't get a good view of the sun? And just to show some idea of what we're talking about, the three possibilities that we're thinking, um, we could get some translucent high clouds and maybe breaks in the low, lower clouds. So you'll be able to see the sun and get some view of the eclipse. If we get thicker high clouds, you're probably not gonna get much. Of, I mean, it'll be bright around the sun, but you really won't get a good view of the eclipse. And if we get low clouds in, there's almost no chance you'll see it. So this is the uh, Tuesday forecast. Um, another frontal system coming in from the west, and then there's a stalled boundary down along the coast. So we expect to see some showers and thunderstorms develop during the day. Tuesday, um, potentially severe storms. Um, the northeastern part of our area be Monday night, Tuesday morning, and then that spreads south during the day Tuesday. Still a lot of it's a long way off, so there's a lot of uncertainty in the timing of when things will happen. This is that severe outlook. This is the Monday one, and this is most likely for the Monday evening and overnight hours. Um, uh, there's a this would this would equate to a one out of five chance for severe thunderstorms um, getting as far south as about the Austin area. And then for Tuesday, again, that spreads a little farther south down into the coastal plains. And this would be the same. It, it equates basically to a one out of five chance for the uh, severe weather. As we get closer, this gets this gets out of this percentage and into the more normal things that we talk about um, for severe outlooks. So here comes our forecast for Monday, April 8th. This is our rain chances. Uh, again, the higher rain chances will be outside the path of totality uh, in the eastern part. And I think they'll be mainly during the afternoon. I think eclipse time, we probably won't have started precipitation. It looks more later in the afternoon, but still it could be, it could get started around that time, but I, I think it'll mainly be later. And it'll be more, it, it'll be more likely north and east than south and west. Temperature forecast for Monday, lows, uh, mid 50s, mid 60s. Um, nothing exceptional. The high temperature forecast, um, maybe from around 80 to around 90. Uh, just one little note that during the eclipse, we may see a little drop in temperature. Uh, temporary five to 10 degrees could drop uh, during that time when the sun is totally blocked out, but then it'll rebound quickly back to uh, our high temperatures. And here is the sky cover forecast. So the most likely Forecast we think is going to be a mostly cloudy day. Um, not quite sure if this will be, you know, low cloud mostly cloudy, high cloud mostly cloudy, a combination mostly cloudy. Um, at this point, we're still uncertain on that. Uh, and then the other one is the worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, it's just completely overcast uh, and probably would not be a, a good day for viewing an eclipse. If you uh, want some more. Detailed forecast, we have a, a, a forecast points website, we call this, um, and it has an hourly forecast uh, out through the period. Um, this, this one that I'm showing here is not current. It's, it's an old one. It's just an example. Um, and we have these QR codes. This one takes you to the site and you can you know, pick your own area. But we also have set up uh, some other QR codes. And again, we're going to put these slides up online so you don't have to get a picture of this right now. But we have these set up for uh, multiple places across the area um, if you want to get that detailed forecast, hourly forecast out uh, through the eclipse time. These will be uh, the satellite and radar. They're, currently, there's nothing on the radar, but when things happen, uh, you can get to our radar quickly this way with these QR codes here. So summing up, we have the possibility of some stray showers Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Uh, most people should be dry, shouldn't be a big issue. Monday looks like it's going to be mostly cloudy, um, uh, you know, from 10 to 50 percent chance of showers of isolated thunderstorms. I think that'll be mainly in the afternoon. Still unclear as to where the low clouds will be and how thick the high clouds might be. 
um, expect some fluctuations in the forecast over the next couple of days. Uh, on that, we, we get the uh, high-res models start to come in looking like Sunday. So by Sunday, we'll get a better chance, a better idea of what's going on when we get the higher-res models, um, higher-resolution models come into the forecast at that time. We do see some potential issues on Tuesday and Wednesday with stronger storms. Again, just a reminder that it is springtime and things change. Um, so keep a, keep a close eye on the forecast through the next few days. Currently, our weekend forecast, we feel pretty good about the cloud cover. Um, I think we're getting a little more confident, so we're calling it medium. The uh, severe storms for Tuesday are uh, still pretty low at this point. And uh, just if you need to contact us, here's the ways to do it. Here's our website. Uh, this is the public phone number line. Uh, if you need to email us, that's a good email address. And we're on Facebook and Twitter or X. Um, and now we are in a twice a day briefing. So we will do this briefing again this afternoon at 2.30 with hopefully some updated information. And after I get this done, we'll get it out um, in email and uh, on the web. So I'd like to open it up for any questions that anybody has. And if, if you have any questions, you can just type them in the chat and I will address them. So we'll, we'll give you a, a minute to uh, get any questions that you have. All right, I think it was a compliment. You don't have any questions. Um, thank you. Uh, everybody have a good day, and we'll be back here at 2.30 for anybody who wants to join in again.